Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Another video cloud and play. This time, I am going to give my full unhinged opinion on him. So, you're watching this clay. Fuck you. Seriously, fuck you. You are a disgusting piece of shit that should burn in hell. And for those who don't know why I'm going so aggressive on him, he has been accused of being a creep towards minors by Supernova slash Hypernova and Saren. And a few, I think a week ago, the GWES, aka the Global Weather and EAS Society, dropped a folder with some pretty damning evidence, if you ask me. Before then, Clay made a live stream called Serious Live Stream, in which he tried to deny the allegations against him. But we all know that he is guilty for what he has done, with the exception of someone named Natalie, who is blindly defending him and telling Supernova to leave her alone, despite the fact that she is literally using his name and slandering him over and over again. I'm going to address a few moments in the live stream that I just think need to be addressed. First of all, like, Clay says that he has to defend himself. Bruh, what's the point in defending yourself when everyone knows who you are, huh? And, you know, that roleplay you did with a 16-year-old, you said that it happened because you were in a dark point in your life. Everyone breaks up, everyone gets rejected. I've been rejected before. There was one girl that I used to really like, and she worked at the place I currently work at. She quit her job recently, probably because of family matters. But, you know, we started to, you know, tease each other and make each other laugh. And I could tell that she liked me a lot, and so I asked her out. She was uncertain. But, you know, surprisingly enough, I went on my first date ever and got to meet her parents. In the end, though, she said that we should just be friends, which I totally understand. Because we don't even know each other that well. But for a while, it did suck. I had to cope with it, and I talked with my dad about it when we went to dinner for my 20th birthday. But the difference is... Unlike you, Clay, I actually got over it. And I certainly did not let it cloud my judgment. And I certainly would not use that as an excuse to prey on minors, unlike you. And you want to know what's even more embarrassing? I am actually on the spectrum. My parents told me this when I was 17 years old. Doesn't that embarrass you, Clay? that a guy on the spectrum is mentally stronger than you, who probably doesn't have autism? Doesn't that make you sick? I'm not even trying to boast, I'm just stating a simple fact. But anyway, back to my main points. Um, Clay is over here just using emotion to manipulate his audience like the piece of shit he is. And, you know, he says, like, it's ruining his mental health. Bro, why the fuck should we give a shit about your mental health when you are a complete freak? Why? Plus, you had your fans harass Nova and send him inappropriate images when, keep in mind, he is 14 years old. So, 
Why should we give a shit about your mental health, Clay? Oh, that's right. We shouldn't. And then he <laughs> just cries like a baby in the live stream. Normally, I try to be understanding when people are in tough situations, but I take joy in seeing this man break down because he's a freak. And you really shouldn't be crying, Clay, because you did this to yourself. You brought these consequences on yourself because you're the one that decided to group minors, and you should have known that you were going to receive backlash for it. And somehow you just cannot take accountability and accept the consequences. And instead, you have to cry like a bitch on stream. And of course, he uses a lot of fallacies to manipulate his audience, such as, if I was a freak, I would have been exposed years before. Bruh. I know that's a fallacy for sure. And like Supernova said, you know, the guy you groomed, or whoever you groomed, you were best friends with, so of course he wouldn't try to expose you. Looking back at that stream makes me cringe. I initially wanted to be on your side, but not anymore. And then you go on to say how RFWX, who is also a groomer, drove you to suicide and self-harm. It's, it's probably, you're just probably using that excuse to make people feel bad for you so they'll get off your ass. And even if that is true, why the fuck should I feel sorry for you, huh? Why should I feel sorry for a man who is a freak towards children? I know that sounds harsh, but I hate this guy for good reason. He is a literal creep who should be thrown in prison for life. And I think it's only a matter of time because he was enough of a dumbass to say his real name as well as the town he lives in. And so people can just report him to the police at any time. But seriously, if you really were a victim of self-harm or suicide or whatever because of RMWX, I don't feel sorry for you one minute. It turns out you are a creep, and why should I feel sorry for a creep? I shouldn't. No one should. And anyone that supports this guy is a clown. Seriously. I mean, all the evidence is there, and you're, you're still supporting him? That is the mark of utter idiocy. I am very ashamed of you, Clay. I used to support your content for years, but not anymore. Not after figuring out that you are a piece of shit. Oh, and also, Clay could also be accused of physical assault because, like I mentioned in my previous video, or I don't know if I mentioned it in my previous video about this situation, but, you know, the GWE, yes, stated that, you know, some guy was talking smack about themselves. I would try to be understanding in that situation. This motherfucker literally slapped him across the face. Are you kidding me, Clay? How could you slap someone in the face when they are going through a tough time in life? That guy is hauling ass. But seriously, like, a guy is talking smack about himself, and instead of understanding what he's going through, you proceed to slap him in the face multiple times. That is a definite battery charge. And, you know, you're basically screwed. 
already know who you are. A piece of shit. And I have no idea why this guy isn't arrested yet. But I think it's only a matter of time before that happens. Because it's just inevitable at this point. been inappropriate towards minors and he has committed battery on someone and so facing the consequences is just inevitable and by the way you trying to pose as somebody else named Jackson Miller Davis you ain't no Jackson Miller Davis everyone knows who you are just doing that to get people off your ass. That's what you're doing. At first I was starting to believe that someone took over the channel until I saw Eli's post on it and it made me realize that Clay is just posing as somebody else in hopes that people will get off his ass. Well guess what? Everyone knows who you truly are. A piece of shit. So, yeah, there's my non-sugar-coated opinion of Clay Ranger 143. To summarize, he's a shithead. He's a predator who should be thrown in jail for life without parole. Because I don't even think 10 to 20 years in prison will help. Not even therapy will help this guy. He is truly beyond hell. I mean, to groom minors and then touch one inappropriately and then slap someone across the face multiple times, yeah, it's safe to assume that this man is beyond hell. So, that's my video. Thank you for watching.